We are going to see how we can recognize patterns in code using a tool that is named Wall Platform. The Wall Platform is based on Eclipse and inside it I can open Java file as we are used to. So this is a simple Java file. However, I can also open the same Java files in a different way using an editor that is specific to the Wall Platform. and I can put them side by side. Now, here I can edit the file. Uh, for example, I can, create, I can add this field and as I save it, it's changed also uh, in the other windows. So this window is basically um, a projection of the Java file and we simply parse the file, recognize the different structure and represent them in this slightly different way. So that I can select all method declarations or I can select uh, a single name or again a method, a field or whatever I want. Now, once we open file in this uh, other format, we can perform higher level operations that are specific to the whole platform. In this case, we are going to execute the operation to recognize patterns. Now, once I look at this file, I can see that it's a very simple file. As a Java developer, I can understand what it does, but uh, it takes a large number of lines to express what he's doing, right? And also, for someone that is not a Java developer, it's not immediately obvious uh, to understand what this file is representing. In a way, there is some knowledge that is implicit in this file that I can um, decode as a Java developer, spending some effort, but it's not uh, immediately clear for someone who is not a Java developer and in any way it requires some work from my side to interpret this thing. So let's make this, uh, this content obvious. So I'm going to perform a refactor and say replace with patterns. And in this case, all the getters, the setters and the field declaration has been replaced by simple immediate representation of that knowledge. So here I have a field or a pattern name will be a property of type int and with a certain name. And from there, if I will need to, I will be able to uh, regenerate the original code to go back to this expanded format. But uh, for understanding the code, this visualization makes things much easier. Now, in this case, we have recognized simply properties, so uh, the composition of a field, a getter, and a setter. In other contexts, we could recognize more complex patterns like singleton or, I don't know, some pattern specific to a framework we are using, like uh, uh, a view or a controller or a data access, access object. Uh, but here I think it's very clear to see with this very simple example that we can recognize basic patterns, we can represent them at an higher level, and we could even process them to translate in a different way. Perhaps I would like to generate setters that also have some blogging properties or that maybe notify some uh, observer. I could do that. Uh, I could recognize the current form, abstract it to an higher level, like in this case, and then regenerate back to something different. Or maybe I could even regenerate something in a different format, like uh, uh, in a different programming language, for example. Okay, uh, that's it, and thank you for watching.